Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, let's go to radar. Here's our storm system. Snow, you can see it's very obvious moving through Idaho, into the Tetons, into the Wasatch as we speak, and eventually the snow is going to roll down into Colorado. So that's our current storm system that we're dealing with. Here's what I'm seeing this morning. So snow underway, Utah, Wyoming, and then the timeline there, Sierra, Tetons, Wasatch, Colorado in the northeast as to what is next, for example, in Colorado, we've got heavy snow coming tomorrow through 4-1, and then moderate snow on 4-4. Wasatch, moderate snow today, which is what you have now. Heavy late 329 through 331, and then moderate snow accumulation on 4-4. And in the northeast, still looking at some heavy snow potential, 4-2, 4-3, 4-4, if the temperatures stay cold enough. There's been some question to that, but it's possible. It's still a ways out there, but still looking at that potential. So we'll look at all that in this forecast update. I want to take you over to uh, water vapor satellite imagery. You know what? First, let me show you the camera up here in uh, Big Cottonwood Canyon. This is solitude. You can see the snow coming down. All right, let's go over to uh, water vapor. So on this, your moisture loft is in your whites and your blues, and you can see there's our storm system throwing that moisture into the interior right now, and eventually that will cruise through Colorado. But this storm is going to go a little bit to the north in the northern tier. There's another storm behind it. That one is the one that's going to dive further to the south and roll towards the four corners um, as we head into uh, early April. So here's the jet stream forecast. So by close of business today, there it is. So one storm going across the northern tier, the second storm kind of rotating in behind it. That one digs further to the south into California and, like I said, moves towards the four corners and through Colorado, Utah, and New Mexico, Wyoming, and then the pattern shift comes out of the north after 4-2, brings one to two different storm systems in from the north with that uh, buckling northern branch. So let's put some, some moisture on all this. So there's your radar at 5.30 this afternoon. Snow across parts of Big Sky, the Tetons, the Wasatch rolling into Colorado. And there we are on 329. Here comes the other storm system moving out of California, and that delivers snow through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, there's 4-1, so it lasts into the early days of, of April there, and then it's gone. Then the pattern shifts, comes out of the north, brings an initial wave with it, one to two storm systems. Here comes the second batch in from the west right here on 4-5, 4-6, and into 4-7. So pretty active pattern. I think overall April is going to be... Uh, an active uh, month for the uh, for the West. I think we'll we'll see some good uh, snow accumulation during that month, based on what I'm seeing. All right, here's what uh, the new grand total map looks like. So by late four six, anywhere from one to two three feet up there in parts of the Wasatch, about two feet for the Tetons, and looking at one to two feet in parts of Colorado. So those numbers still looking good. Look at Aspen snow mass. Anywhere from 16 to 20 inches, I think. That's probably where you're going to end up. Maybe a couple of feet in Crested Butte. Further to the west, the Sierra, one to two feet will probably do it there. And some good numbers up through parts of the Pacific Northwest interior, B.C. All right, breaking it down by time period. So rest of today through tomorrow, four to eight inches for the Wasatch, five to eight for the Tetons, and anywhere from, say, four to ten across the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Uh, the Sierra gets probably 6 to 10 inches. Second time period, 3.30 through 4.1 is a big one for the Wasatch with 1 to 2 feet or more, 4 to 10 in Colorado, and 8 to 12 in the Tetons. Final time period, 4.2 through 4.6 with, those, uh, with the pattern shift coming out of the north, bringing at least one or two storm systems. You can see the numbers 6 to 8 in the Wasatch, um, 8 to 10, 6 to 10 for the Tetons and some decent numbers up in parts of B.C. All right, let's go to the northeast. Um, so grand totals by late 4-6. So the numbers are staying big. Yesterday afternoon, the numbers were up. They're still there this afternoon. But again, this is really contingent on having cold enough temperatures 4-2, 4-3, and 4-4 with this storm system. And, and if it does, then those are the numbers that we end up with. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here. And again, looking at some definite bullseyes, Tetons, Big Sky, the Wasatch, parts of the western slope of Colorado, and the Sierra. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.